So there is nothing holding those wheels together. The fastener will be the frame itself. So the wheel will be locked inside the drivetrain and uh, those drivetrains will be attached to a suspension system. The wheels won't have anywhere to go but to stay together. Okay, now once you have the back plate and uh, you measure that out using your cardboard jig you place the wheel on the back plate and you just see uh, how it aligns with the spokes once you have that the best thing to do is to number and this is number five you mark the space inside so you will know the limits for your spring so you can just eyeball it so that's where the spring that's where your spring should start and the other spring is going to be right here so the wheel will have a small slack going both ways you're gonna have three nods This ring, which I already pre-made right here, I'm gonna solder it to this latch right there. So I'm gonna create a sort of a nest for each spring. way this flap is too far away from this lap so when I solder this uh, this part this one will never desolder because there's too much distance between them and the whole plate doesn't get hot it's because it's that's the heat sink oh wow I'm done So now I'm going to show you how I make the key for the hollow shaft. So I'm going to snap off the point of the nail.
is that in a market system, they'll, they'll move toward the frontier. Now once you insert the hollow shaft on the drive wheel, you just rotate it until it locks in. That's it. To engage this wheel also. And here are the drafts. I already have a set of wheels ready to go. Now in the following weeks I'm going to be starting on this frame. This is the old photograph of the train I'm building right now. That's a 1920s Swiss electric locomotive 3-5. This is how it's supposed to look. Something like that.